Vectors, bitmaps, and computer graphics. General overview. All graphics can be classified under two formats. These are simply two ways that a computer uses to draw and save digital images. Both ways have their advantages, disadvantages, and uses. Pixels. Before we discuss these two formats, you need to fully understand what a pixel is. A pixel is simply a square filled with a color which makes up everything we see on the screen. Like so. When we look at pixels from far away, the image that they make up appears real and our eye is tricked. If the pixels are made larger, the image loses its quality. Now that you understand what pixels are, let's discuss our two image formats. The first format. Bitmaps. Bitmaps are simply maps of pixels. In the bitmap format, a simple grid of these pixels is drawn, and the size of the map is dependent on the resolution of the image being drawn. Therefore, a 640 by 480 image would have 307,200 pixels which the computer can work with. Each pixel on the grid, the bitmap, has its own color. The color is defined by an RGB value, which is the way computers define colors. RGB simply stands for red, green and blue combination which can make up almost any shade of any color. Each value can range from 0 to 255, 0 being no value and 255 being the strongest value. It may sound confusing, but it's simple. Here's two pixels with two different RGB values. The first one, the first value has 255 of red, 0 of green and 0 of blue. There's 255 of red while there is 0 of green and blue. This means that the pixel will be completely red. And the second pixel. We have now added 255 green to the pixel which would make the pixel yellow as green plus red is yellow. When drawing the image the computer simply makes the bitmap and assigns RGB values to each pixel creating the final image. Bitmaps have a quite large file size if they are uncompressed because of all the information the RGB values which the computer needs to store. The most com common bitmap file formats are .jpeg, .bmp or .png. .png formats also support alpha transparency which adds another number to the RGB value and turns it into RGBA. This extra A simply stands for alpha and defines the transparency of the pixel. For example, a pixel of the RGBA value of 255,0,0,20 would be barely visible as the alpha value is only 20, whereas this pixel 255,0,0,255 would be fully opaque. Remember, only certain formats support alpha transparency, for example, PNG, etc. The reason images are so clear and realistic is because there is a lot of pixels in an image which makes it look real even though it is really made up of small squares. When we are further away from the pixels, they appear as tiny dots of color and our eye is tricked into believing it looks real. Therefore, if we enlarge the bitmap, it will become distorted and unclear. The reason for this is that when enlarging the bitmap, you are making all the pixels on it bigger and the squares pixels on it become more obvious to the eye and the quality of the image is lost. The second format, vectors. Instead of dealing with pixels, the computer uses mathematical algorithms and methods of drawing a shape instead of using pixels to create it. If our picture was, for example, a line, the computer would store information such as length, thickness and color of the line in order to draw it. Whereas the bitmap format would simply be a map of pixels and each pixel will be colored in a way which makes the line. Vectors have much smaller file sizes than bitmaps. The reason for this is that the computer doesn't store all the color values of each pixel, but instead just has a list of instructions defining how to draw the shape. Some typical file formats for vectors are .svg and .cgm. Examples. Take a look at this image. When we zoom in, the pixels become clearer and the picture looks distorted. We can only see the image properly and in high quality from far away. If we increase the resolution of the image, and therefore the amount of pixels on the screen, it will improve its quality even when enlarged, but it still will be distorted at extreme zoom levels. In vector graphics, this is not a problem, as the computer doesn't enlarge the pixels, the pixels of the image, simply redraws it using mathematical algorithms.
Hardware Computers use various pieces of hardware to do various functions such as drawing images or doing calculations. A graphics card in every computer unit is a necessity. It draws all the pixels on the screen and displays everything that we see. In order for it to work correctly, it needs help from the CPU, that's the central processing unit, in order to calculate all the color values of the pixels, or in case of vectors, all the mathematical calculations and algorithms required to draw the shape. Some examples of graphics cards are NVIDIA, Intel, and ATI. Software Various software exists which allows us to manipulate, create, edit and save images in both bitmap and vector formats. The most popular bitmap editing software available is Adobe Photoshop. It allows the user to change various aspects of any image such as its dimensions and effects. You can use Photoshop to draw, paint and manipulate pixels in any way. Some other competitors to this piece of software would be Paint.net or GIMP. Here's a screenshot taken from Photoshop. Even though there is less vector editing software available, there are still quite a lot of tools with various functionality which you can use. One example is Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Flash, which is mostly used for animations. Here's a screenshot taken from Adobe Flash. Thanks for listening.